This video is called The Real Alpha Point, aka it's stupid not to know that it's this way. I'm making it in the dark because the lights, I had to reduce the light as the morning and I'm not feeling so fumed right now, so here we go. It has nothing to do with my point of view other than the fact that you all are in darkness. So The Real Alpha Point. Some people prepare for death by saying, I went there, I went there, I lived my life in the psychological construct, I did this, I did that. They are fucking stupid. When we look at the leopard, right, some people say, well, just because you move effectively doesn't mean anything. You're like an animal. Well, can the leopard outmaneuver the hunter? When the Bible says Nimrod founded Babylon, Babylon is the opposition view. This is the opposition view being said to, by the people at the time uh, to have been founded by a hunter, not a sage, not a mage. It was the warriors, Exodus 15:3. The warriors, the Bible is by bell, and to defeat them, you say, what is it all about? The alpha bout between the warriors in ancient combat. It was founded by a hunter, not a cage fighter. Someone that outmaneuvered animals and speared them. Spirit, or killed them with a bow. You know, dodge the arrow, come in close, pong, stab them to death, right? This favors by far the African martial arts systems. Plus these people would strike low. This favors the tall. It favors the tall and coordinated. Coordinated, okay? In a different video, I'm gonna do the wordplay. Even that wordplay and coordination proves my point about the A-shot. The set positions perhaps favor the boxer in that this person can uh, have his feet more planted and more low to the ground and take blows and work out in the gym unnaturally, okay? This is different than outmaneuvering someone and stabbing them 10 times in, a, in, in less than a second, which I'm capable of with two, two, two knives. Okay. So, um, again, the Simpsons, right? Exodus 15, 3, the Lord thy God is a warrior versus the Simpsons. It is that simple. And there's wordplay there. I'll go through it in the, in the, in the video after this. Okay, so it's the right thing to do versus the right, the ritual. Right, right, you L. The people in charge are sexual sadist lunatics. They intend to do mind control and they do various drills and political processes and social experiments to get people to behave a certain way and to be ill. That's why so many people these days look like they're in fucking cults with the old uh, Harley Quinn makeover, the cult looks they have, you know, looking like the Adams family, looking like the Joker. They look fucking insane, looking like circus freaks, just scum, okay? It's because of the processes they've been through in life. Almost out of time, I've got two minutes, let's shoot through this. Number one, it's a stolen world. There's ill-gotten gains, okay? Alpha ID, they gave them AIDS, Ebola, Ebola. It's right there in the wordplay. Even if you never heard the wordplay before, those two words will make it so you're an idiot if you don't see that they're deliberately killing alphas with an emphasis on the Ebos, which are logically the, the top martial artist tribe, the natural alpha tribe. But of course, I'm the last natural alpha, no time for that. Let's just keep going through. Number two, trickery-based sex, okay? Coercion, rape. People are the offspring of these things. Your children will take part in these things if they seek to reproduce, if they ever have sex. Okay, and they'll certainly be complicit by enforcing social norms. Number three, the evilest people control behavior. Think about how things work. Number four, people are transforming into more evil all the time. Your children will transform into be more evil than you are, not less evil. Number five, 